is foul and foul is fair. How about through the fog and build me <laughs> Hi there folks, Laurel here. I'm just doing a quick video update in regards to the prostitution laws here in Ontario. Um, yesterday, five judges had revealed their rulings after quite a lengthy deliberation. Um, just to remind you all, um, a while back a judge here in Ontario at the Superior Court level had ruled that the provisions um, surrounding prostitution were found unconstitutional and she struck them down. So essentially what she did was decriminalize prostitution here in Ontario. And then that ruling went to the Court of Appeals and that is what the judges were ruling on yesterday. Um, so the three laws that, or the three groupings of laws that um, were struck down originally were the body house laws, the living on the avails or procuring laws, the pimping laws, and the third was communicating for the purpose of prostitution or the soliciting laws. Um, so first up, uh, the judges yesterday had found that or had ruled that um, the body house laws were found unconstitutional. This is the laws that affect indoor sex workers and brothels. Um, so they have decriminalized that or agreed to the decriminalization of that. And that won't take effect for a year. So after a year, here in Ontario, sex workers should be able to work indoors legally. The second is the procuring laws, living on the avails or pimping. What they have uh, done is they've given the government 30 days to rewrite this law. And... Um, what they the changes that they want to make to it is non-exploitive relationships will be decriminalized while exploitive relationships will remain criminal so to give you an example when a consenting adult sex worker hires a bodyguard or a driver or a receptionist that will be legal as well as personal relationships because as the law reads right now any relationship a sex worker has is suspect and could be criminalized so that's that will be decriminalized within 30 days what will remain criminal is people who um, force or coerce or whatever or were children to force children or adults into prostitution and live off the earnings so essentially someone who lives off the earnings of slavery um, will remain criminal and people who participate in that will be held legally accountable. The third um, provision that was ruled on yesterday was the solicitation laws. Um, this is the set of laws that affect outdoor sex workers and street-based sex workers. Um, two of the five judges had thought that the solicitation laws were unconstitutional. While well, three thought that, my understanding of the ruling anyways, is three of them thought, well, yes, the laws do harm sex workers. They create an environment where sex workers are put in extreme danger. That danger does not outweigh the nuisance and dangers um, put on larger society that is created by outdoor prostitution. So the solicitation laws will be upheld. It will be illegal to communicate for the purpose of prostitution. Outdoor sex work will be illegal. Um, so yeah, like I mean, these things can change at any point if this goes to the Supreme Court of Canada, which it very likely will. Um, this is just 
how things stand right now. And just to be clear, these laws, these changes to the laws only affect Ontario, the province of Ontario. It doesn't affect anywhere else in Canada at this point. Um, so just some of my initial thoughts on the rulings that were released yesterday. Um, I'm very happy that the body house laws have been decriminalized. I think it's great that sex workers will be able to work indoors albeit it'll take a year for this law, the changes to go in place, but um, I am happy about that. Um, I'm also happy about the changes to the pimping laws. I think that um, sex workers should have be able to have relationships with people, professional and personal, without them being criminalized, um, while at the same time I think that people who are essentially slave traders um, should be held accountable. Um, I am unhappy about the solicitation laws remaining criminal. I think at the very least the outdoor sex workers should have been decriminalized. Um, the laws do not stop people from working outdoors. That's been shown. It's also been shown that the laws actually create an atmosphere that makes it more dangerous for people to work outdoors. Um, I think what we should be doing is encouraging people to move indoors and creating a programming and assistance for people to do so, um, as well as people who do not want to be in the sex industry or shouldn't be in the sex industry. Um, we should be uh, creating real, uh, like viable exit strategies fair viable exit strategies to get them out of sex work, um, not criminalizing them. So uh, 